All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Hot Wheels Beat That. I'm playing this on the Xbox 360. Uh, obviously, man. I know it's another racing game, but this game, to me, it's more than just that. It's uh, it's one of those games from my childhood that I've always loved, and it's one of those games that I wish that they would remaster. I'm talking about like all out remaster. Select your it's uh it's just amazing, you know. And look at that car right there, that purple one. That's the 16 Angels car. I love that car. And actually they've uh put that car in uh, in the new Hot Wheels Unleashed game, which I'm close to unlocking. I'm not sure when do I unlock it honestly, but I've been playing the game for a while now as of me recording this. Uh, it's late October, so I'm not sure when this will be going up, but hopefully by then, by the time uh, this video goes up, I should have it unlocked, and I will make a video on it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Select a zone. Uh, rookie course. The courses in this game Select an event. are really, really creative. Select a vehicle. I would say it's like, more creative than, um, than many of the new games. So where's that car I was talking about? This right here? You have to achieve third place in the bowling alley tournament to uh, to unlock it. I love that car so much. Here we go. We're going to choose this car. Uh, also, another thing about this car, the soundtrack. And also, like, the unique soundtracks for every single, like, course in this game are just all out amazing. And really memorable, of course. Well, of course, for the people that played this game for a long time. So, if you're a big fan of this game, you you know what I'm talking about. Especially the pinball. That's like really, really, really later in the game. Now, I've beaten this game, I'd say, six times. Um, Three, two, one, go! I've beat it on the PlayStation 2, I'd say, three times. Xbox 360, three times. And I did start another one, but I never finished that one, so I guess half a playthrough right there. But I love this game. I'll be down if they were like, I'll live stream this game. I don't know what I'll do. I'll make content off of it, but I guess it's really just a hot roast game at the end of the day. Boom, there we go. Already completed all the goals. And when you do all the, so in each track, There'll be two goals you have to complete, right? They're like little achievements you get here and there, but it also does help you unlock other tracks. And there's also like specific ones, really unique ones actually. Like, open this trap door and, you know, and win the race or whatever. So they'll be like really creative ones. Not really lazy ones like nowadays. I know many games have like those like, I guess extra achievements that you can do, but they don't really do much. On here, you can, they're actually worth something, you know, they're actually meant to be there and actually have a purpose. Okay, so, here we're going over this, uh, entrance loop de loop thing. And also the weapons are actually really cool. So I remember there's actually this, this one achievement in this game. An in-game achievement, not like Xbox achievements, but... Once you get to like the pinball and you use that smoke that I just used there earlier, if you do that in the uh, pinball, you get an achievement for there, from uh, well in-game achievement for uh, doing that, because you can't you really can't see anything in that pinball machine. And with that smoke there, yeah, it's basically over. So it's pretty cool. Mind collision. And also, you can mute this guy in the background. I don't want to hear him. It does get annoying after. Right now, I'm just giving him a little bit of a chance to, uh, you know, do his job. There's a golf course. There's a bedroom, of course. It's the first level bedroom. There's the golf course after this. After this, the attic. And then the bowling alley. Which, uh, yeah, it, it gets really cool. The soundtrack's in every single race, like I said. Really cool, really memorable. I'd say, if, like, if you never played this game, I would say hunt down a copy, but 
Also, you can just play like the new ones. But this game, like the actual like weapons that you can use on your enemies are actually really useful. They're not really shitty like in the other games. Like they kind of like help you catch up, I guess. This one, you know, every single, like the game is really like fought out. I don't know. It's like really like fought out to like where everything's actually useful and it's not there for no reason, you know? Everything has a purpose. And that's what I appreciate about this game. And that's really just for a racing game, so it's crazy that they put that much attention and detail to everything. And those are, ma like, many things that I've uh, seen. You know, even though I was little, I was like, damn, you know, they put a lot of attention to this. Even, when, like, when I was really young, I would, like, put on, like, the soundtracks and I'd be playing with my cars and stuff. So it goes to show how much of an impact it did have in my childhood, and that's, uh, that's awesome. Anyways, looks like I'm, like, beating these guys. And I'm proud to finish this first race here. And we're done. Victory. Boom. Alright. We unlock some achievements for for 50 gamer score. Event unlocked. Yeah, there we go. More racing. New, event has been unlocked. New races unlocked and stuff. There's also Eliminator and Rampage and quick race events and stuff. It's all there for you. Anyways, I'm going to keep this video really short for you guys. I don't want to, like, obviously make a whole on, like, 20 plus minute video on this game. But if they were to remaster this game, I'll definitely be live streaming this game. And uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Heck, I even do, like, those little achievements for, like, every single mode. So, right here. And also, there's difficulties as well. And you might be wondering. Select his own. So, right here. Hang on. You might be thinking, wow, medium and hard difficulty. How hard is actually hard? It's actually really hard. Because I've made it too hard. And I've made it through, like, like I said, I beat the game multiple times. And it is hard. It's not there, it's just for like shows. It actually is that difficult, you know, that difficult to play on hard on this game. Because the freaking like NPCs will just fly by you. And of course, yeah, your car is fast, but they're actually smarter and the AI is actually, you know, willing to be that bloodthirsty. Same thing with medium, so yeah, things do get more difficult as you go throughout the game. And of course, your rank changes as well. It's pretty cool. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys take care. Peace.